I'm standing about six or seven feet from the car. So this is the way the vehicle presents itself. Typically in the camera or when you're taking a video, you know, some of the details uh, are missing, but uh, looking at it myself, I don't see any obvious cosmetic uh, issues as far as any dents or paint peeling or what have you from, from this distance. As we get a closer, little closer, then that's when you know, you'll start seeing some of the uh, cosmetic blemishes. So just keep that in mind that they're not real obvious. You have to get pretty close. So I'm about three feet and I can already see the first one here just underneath the um, headlamp assembly here. You can see where it's just uh, nicked right there. And I've got plenty of pictures of this as well. So um, you'll have still photos of that. But looking at everything else, the chrome looks like it's in decent shape. The rubber, uh, good. Don't see any cracks or, or impact damage. Turn signal lenses, they're not cracked, nor are the driving lights. And they're pretty sturdy as far as uh, uh, the installation. Okay, um, this is no big deal. You can always get a new one. Um, here looking at the star. Okay. Here you can just see where it's separated a little bit but it is complete, it's not cracked or dented, so perhaps just, uh, just re-gluing it will take care of it. Here you can see the chrome finish here, it's just, um, I don't know if that's hard, hard water spots, or you know, it's just a uh, deterioration of the, of the trim piece there, so uh, that's something to be mindful as well. Okay, uh, lenses look good, and then we can start seeing some little chips here, and we'll get some paint meter readings. So we're getting five and a half here at the left front fender, 5, 5.5, and 4.5. These uh, readings are to the thousandth of an inch. So 11, so we're getting some really high uh, readings already. 11, 14 and a half, so we're getting some inconsistencies. I've already seen the uh, traces of respray already, so you had mentioned that uh, it was the original paint. I'm not sure if they meant the original paint color or the actual finish, but Already, we, we know that's been repainted. Okay, uh, just moving on. Left front wheel. Uh, although the, the rubber or the tread looks like it's brand new, I did notice when I looked at the DOT number, the date it was manufactured, it looks like that was either uh, 2004. So the rubber is getting, uh, getting pretty old. Uh, well, it's getting there in other words. Uh, I think it was the other tire where I started seeing some weathering. And you can see here with the chrome, the rim will need to get re-chromed as well, uh, depending on the level of condition that you're looking for. Okay, here you can see just a little uh, chip with some touch-up paint there, okay. Moving on, uh, let's get the cowl readings. 12 and a half, 13. Okay, now looking at the blades. Okay, looks good. Here a view of the dash, and here is the single key. Looking at the windshield, I didn't see any obvious cracks or chips. Uh, there's this, uh, some scratching here on the trim, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. Okay. Looking at the body lines, they look pretty straight, but I still need to do the analysis once I get back to the office where I use grid lines to really uh, measure the difference between the uh, panel gaps. Um, paint meter readings, nine and a half, seven and a half, and nine, okay. Glass, I always check for delamination, scratches, or chips. So far, I didn't see any. Sometimes these mirrors uh, start to delaminate here on the bottom, where you start seeing some blackness, but that looks okay. Okay, belt light trim, good. Let's get some readings here, 11, seven, and eight. Quarter panel readings, 14 thousandths of an inch, okay. Okay, so 19.7. Anytime we get that 19.7 uh, meter reading or greater than is an indication that there's some body filler, Bondo use, but as far as the extent or how much was used, the only way we would know is if we were to strip down the paint. So it seems like it's been worked in this one area here. Okay. 19, yep, so the high reading again, and 10. So it then starts to um, lighten up over here. So this area seems to be worked. Uh, looking at the back wheel, again, you see the chrome finish. We need some attention. I believe these tires were uh, manufactured in 2004 as well. So we're just getting these quarter panel readings, 15, 16, 11 and a half. So we, we can see where the readings are just all over the board. Okay. Looking at the rear glass, 
Got the original logo there. That's good. I like the defroster lines. See if they're broken up at all. Uh, sometimes when they apply tint to these, uh, when they scrape them off, they use a razor blade and damages them, but I don't, I don't see anything here. Uh, but I did notice that there is some delamination here. I've already gotten the still photos of that, just in case it doesn't come out on the video. So just an indication of, of age. Uh, let's get the other side as well before I move on. Here on the right side, you can see it's a little more obvious here in the upper corner, here in the midsection too. And then you can see here at the bottom. All right. Lines uh, look pretty good here. Get these readings, 10, 21, 1, 7 inch, 10 and a half, 11, okay, and nine. All right, here uh, I noticed that there were some more signs of rework or paint. You can see paint runoff right here in this area. You can see the um, prep issues here. You can see the pitting in the paint. Usually that's due to contaminants. Uh, chrome here is gonna need some attention. And then you can see some paint blistering here, 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 and here it's uh, paint blistering and some rust. Um, okay. Rear bumper. Okay. Just some little scuff marks here, scuff marks there, a little cut in the rubber there. Here the damage is a little more significant here. Okay. And then you can see more paint runoff here. Okay. Continue with the paint meter reading seven. Eight and a half, four, seven. Right rear wheel. Again, the chrome. Here you can see the whole side wall uh, cracking, and you can see where a little chunk is missing right there. And there is a DOT number of 04. The side panel view. Here you can see where the rubber is dried and deteriorated. Right. Let's get some door readings. Eight, eight, ten, nine. And I know it probably sounds terrible when I put the meter against the uh, the paint, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Eight, uh, seven, six, eight and a half, okay, seven. Here's the glass. Uh, again, no chips uh, or cracks. Uh, maybe just a small little rock chip there. Uh, and a, just a light uh, scratch mark here, probably from the wiper um, being worn at one point. And you can see it from here to here. But uh, I think from back here, well, you can still kind of see it. So it's there. All right, let's get some 11 and a half, 10, 9, 6 and a half. All right, so when I run my hand against the paint, I mean, it looks decent. I know it, it feels a little gritty at times. Um, that might be due to some dust being embedded in the paint, but I believe uh, that may um, come out with a professional grade um, detail and polish. Uh, just giving you a good idea of what it looks like here. Just push back a little bit, give you another view of how it presents itself. Oh, also I measured the uh, suspension. It was uh, three quarters of an inch higher on the right side. Um, possibly a little lower on the left because typically that's where the driver is and may have worn down the springs. But once I get underneath, I'll, I'll take a look just to make sure there's nothing obvious or, or an issue uh, going on there that I should make note of. Shut down this portion. I've had the engine idling for about 10 minutes now. So typically what I like to do is at first startup, I like to see if there's any smoke that comes out of the tailpipe. It came out pretty clean. What I see here is just, uh, looks like just some condensation, but I've already rubbed it a couple times and didn't see any blue, black, or gray smoke coming out. So that's, a, that's definitely a good sign. Um, taking a quick look and see where we're at with the RPMs. Just above 1100, a little high. So we're gonna uh, rub it a little bit uh, later on, see what it adjusts to. Uh, looks like the mileage is 115.45. Six, all right, and we've got the oil pressure uh, pegged at all the way to three. Temperature is uh, at a good um, position, and the fuel we'll have to keep an eye on. And let's go into the engine bay area. So the engine bay area is uh, pretty clean. I checked the uh, the mat uh, underneath. Uh, that was, looks like it's, it's new, right? And uh, so 
So that's good. I'm um, also fixing pictures after the fact too. Uh, I noticed that the grill here just uh, slightly warped um, if you compare it to, the, to this side here. You can see where the warpage is right there versus this here. And the uh, chrome strip here is less than perfect, but that's just being uh, hypercritical on my end. Um, okay, so I uh, didn't hear any abnormal noises. I checked the uh, transmission fluid, nice and pink, if I can see that. I'm hearing the abnormal tapping noises. I already opened up the uh, cap here. Uh, oil looks, uh, condition looks good. I didn't see any sludge build up. I've already got the stethoscope. Uh, Try to listen for any type of chain slap or anything else abnormal going on in the front. Didn't hear anything obvious. Fluid uh, level is good. Notice that there's no fluid here in the washer tank, uh, so I still need to test that system. Okay. Uh, I did notice. I'm getting a picture of it, but I know that uh, the uh, sections, uh, the seal was cracked. I'm sure they're all cracked, but it's an indication that it's conditioned. Uh, all around. On the carrier here, a little bit. So it's kind of, uh, I think it's a short, right? So I'll be taking a look at the seat. There's any sign of impact damage, but you know, here it's kind of looked down a lot. Okay, pulleys look straight. Don't see them um, wobbling at all. And I don't hear no belt noise. Belts uh, look like they're in good condition. Uh, power steering fluid, uh, again, in good condition. Brake fluid, still, still acceptable. It's starting to get dark, but at some point it'd be nice just to get the fluid. We don't know how long that's been in there. Firewall, again, uh, great shape. And let's see if I just get a couple revs here. Hopefully it's not too hot to handle. Uh, stand by. So, I'm trying to touch this without, without burning my hands here. It was easier when it was cold. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. I'm going to move on. Take one last look at the exhaust. Okay, looking good. Okay, moving on. Oh, also what I noticed uh, two times already when I first went to go move the car and then I let it idle for about 10 minutes thinking the battery might be low. Then I tried restarting it again and there's some sluggishness. So I'm gonna do it right now. Let's see if that's uh, improved. So shutting off. There we go. But okay, so we we know that that's gonna need some attention. Whether the battery is dead uh, or alternator is uh, not working, but unfortunately, I need a, a fully charged battery to, to do a test on my end. So just be mindful of that.